Well, um, <coughs> got everything uh, pretty much set up. Check that out. Friggin parallel. Like, perfect. Um, so yeah, I kind of ran into a little problem here. I got the axle uh, hung under it. Not, uh, not permanently, of course. I got to take the the U-bolt plates off and weld a little antler on top of it to uh, keep it from uh, bending. Um, yeah, um, one good thing, check that out. Not uh, gonna hit the oil pan at all. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, the, the problem is this. Um, mind you, I don't I don't have any weight on the axle. There's no none, none of the truck weights on the axle. But, uh, yeah, less Less than like eight inches. Like, eh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I don't have the tires on, so the front is hopefully gonna like level out when I get some weight on it because I only got three springs. But uh, I didn't think it would be that low. Frig. I maxed out the shock too. Like, it's not bolted on or nothing, but uh, yeah, that's. The shock's like maxed out. It, it has another inch to go, but that's uh, only going to be able to bolt into that and then uh, bolt down there and she's friggin maxed out. That's, that's all she wrote, so I might have to get a set of 14s. Ah, frig. Yeah, so that's my little update. Uh, yeah, but uh, yeah, that hydraulic assist ram would uh, go right there, right underneath the motor. And I'm thinking I'm gonna do that, and then I can throw the locker back in the front and be indestructible again. <coughs> yeah, check out the drag link angle though. Like, that's a good angle. It's uh, not too steep, which is friggin' perfect. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have to relocate the, the shock uh, tower mount thingies, shock hoops which is awesome, like, pretty much straight. That up there is a little bit uh, cattywampus, but uh, it's not that bad, so I'll live, I'll live with it.